Hello everyone and welcome to Lorelei. This is probably going to be part one of a series if you enjoy this, so at the end of the video, if you do enjoy this and you want to see more, let me know. This is going to be, much like the Cat Lady and Downfall, a 2D side-scrolling psychological horror adventure game. And uh, much like the two previous games, this I'm sure is going to deal with a lot of dark themes, so be aware of that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start a new game. Really do hope you enjoy this, alright? Even this pouring rain is trying to warn me. But I have no choice. I'll keep going back. Rosebury Lane forever. I deserve a better life. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're in control. So, yeah. Um, the graphics have improved a little bit. Everything looks a little bit crisper and less crude, let's say, in comparison to, well, the cat lady for one. Rosebury Lane, eh? Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because my memory of Downfall and the Cat Lady is waning a little bit. It's been a few years. Um, I don't believe we're familiar with this character, right? I'm back. So I see. The prodigal daughter has returned. Hmm. Prodigal... what? Okay, so let's see. So I don't think there's any going into the foreground or the background. It is more or less just left and right, and then we interact with the things next to us. How is my beautiful Lorelei? Well, I had a weird day. I bathed an old lady, been kissed by a ghost, and I will die tonight, someone's told me. <laughs> Lovely. Starting chapter one, then. I had a brief look at the achievements. I think there's at least seven chapters. So if this does turn into a series, I think I'll perhaps do a chapter per video. Those old ladies always talk bollocks like that. <laughs> Bloody mental, aren't they? Want to talk about it? I don't know, do I? No, I don't really want to. Maybe later I'm starving and I stink like a dog. Or how would you know? It's not like you ever had a job. Right, well, uh, I suppose my choices will probably affect the game in some way. Maybe there's multiple endings. Uh, let's just say maybe later. I'm starving. I stink like a dog. Maybe later. I'm starving and I stink like a dog. Well, you know where the bathroom is. But then I want to hear about today, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, is that a black eye? Did he hit you again? Wait... Is that a black eye? Looks like one. Did he hit you again? Don't be silly. I tripped on the carpet. It's no big deal. Where is he? It wasn't him! He's in a pub, isn't he? Yes, it's John's night out. Like every Monday. You know that. It seems like for John, every day's a Monday. Ever since they closed down that stupid brick factory. He'll find a new job soon. Yeah. That's what he's been saying for what now? A year? Just let it go, will you? Well, I don't want to, really. But perhaps I'm not going to say I'm going to kill him. 
Let's just say, please be more careful. Please be more careful, Mum. I will, babes. I will. But don't worry about me. I'm a tough old bird, me. You hungry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a wolf. <laughs> Duran Duran fan? I left you some dinner in the kitchen. Go, fill up your tummy, grab a bath, and we can talk about it later, yeah? What's for dinner? It's chicken curry. Lovely. Yum! Yum. Okay. Oh, now we actually get the proper interaction with this stuff, so... Yeah, let's just look out the window, for instance, if we can. Still raining. Do we use it? Do we open it, or...? Alright. Weird sort of effect just outside. Doesn't look quite real. Alright. Shall I just break away from this? I Can I? Do I? Are we gonna get anything from this? I guess not, fair enough. <laughs> okay, the sofa. It stinks of cigarette smoke. I think I might know why. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so we can't leave. There's the sofa I guess I could probably use. Yeah, have a sit down. Why not? Sure, okay. So there's probably going to be various interactions I can do that aren't really going to affect me in any way. Uh, the kitchen or something through here, presumably? Okay. Uh, I don't want to go through there quite yet. Let's just go to the right. Alright, yeah, the bathroom. Probably should have a look at that. My room. Mirror. Mother's room. And what's down here? I should check on Bethany first. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, well let's check out all the other ones. Uh, well let's have a look inside. Mother's room. God, uh, well, use the baby. <laughs> and you get out of that. That's more like it. Back into your cage. Something's telling me that Bethany didn't crawl out of there. I'll get you out of here. I promise. Beth fell out of bed and you didn't even notice. How's that? Beth fell out of bed and you didn't even notice. Sweet Jesus. She was on the floor? Mm-hmm. Yes, but don't worry. She'll live. So go and have another fag. A glass of sherry, maybe. Let's have a fucking party in here. Lorelei! Is Beth okay? Yeah. For now. We're all okay, aren't we? Uh, I think we need a serious talk. We need a serious talk. You're just gonna nag again. A little bit. Look. I know that things... got a bit out of hand the last couple of weeks. I admit, but... Mum, it's killing me. Don't be such a drama queen. There's no need for that. Can't you see what that man is doing to you? He saved this family when your father died and left us with nothing! That's what he's done. He's scum. He fought for this country. 
Can you even imagine the things he went through in Afghanistan? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'm going to go with the bottom one. Sort of sums up everything, I guess. I'm sorry, but he's an addict, a thug, and an unemployed piece of shit. And the only reason you're with him is that little fidget in your room, currently growing a nasty bruise on her tiny little head. Damn. It's not as easy as you think, Lorelai. No, it's very easy, Mum. Two simple steps. Step one, you dump John. Step two, we fix what's left of this family. You and me. I don't want to talk about this tonight. Where does Bethany go? <laughs> Duh. Oh, I think this is going to agitate her, but fuck it, let's see what happens. Yeah, sure. Let's carry on pretending that everything is great. I'm not going to listen to this. Mm. Now go to the kitchen and have your dinner. Right, yes. And please eat at the table like a civilized person. Mom. Okay. I do feel hungry, though. Yeah, hungry like the wolf, right? Uh, okay. Well, was it through here? Correct. Hmm, lots of sharp knives in the foreground. I like it. Okay, let's see. What's in the fridge? Shitty microwave food. Thanks for the effort, Mum. <laughs> You're the best. Better than nothing, I suppose. Do we have to examine it? Do we have to, like, read the instructions? Does it say pierce lid and then wait for seven minutes or yeah, something? One pound a box, I think. Oh, the cheap stuff. Lovely. Okay, so we got the inventory back. Uh, right, so it's going to be down at the bottom. I've only got the chicken curry at the moment, but it looks like I can combine it with maybe some better food. Probably not. Right. Well, I, I guess we probably can. Well, would we use it here? Use chicken curry on microwave? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Don't just stand there and wait. Do something else productive. You'll be there for a while. I'll start a new life. And they'll never see me again. <laughs> Back to reality, unfortunately. The curry is waiting. Shit! I forgot what? to punch holes in the film lid. I said- Oh, wow! Wow, okay. That doesn't look very appetizing. I guess I'm not eating tonight, then. <sighs> I guess not. Anything else here? Yeah, what, let's just dig through the drawers. I don't need anything from the drawer right now. But maybe later on? The dish rack? At least there are no dirty dishes waiting for me tonight. Yeah, okay. Well, if we can't eat, we can probably- we can just have that bath or something, right? I think the bathroom was right at the very end, on the right. Hang on, what's up with the mirrors? I want to say it's something like saving in the Cat Lady or Downfall. Let's just use it. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm conflating a couple of things. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just get out of that, sure. Uh, what about the clock? Maybe we'll need to change the time at some point. Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go have that bath. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. This game, or these games, I suppose, do evoke a certain sort of style with the colours and just the way everything is drawn, I suppose. It's kind of interesting. Right. Use a towel? I'm not using these. I don't want to catch anything. Shucks, I forgot to bring my towel. Well, you should have. <laughs> so, wait, so we need to actually find our specific towel. Well, hang on. Lorelei's room was back here. Maybe she's got her towel in her room. Let's have a little look. Wow, alright. Uh, yeah, is that a towel down there or. Sit on the sofa. I guess not. 
Go on, get up, right. <laughs> There's probably going to be a load of things like that. Towel, there you go. Okay, maybe I can play some music before we go in. Maybe later. Ah, okay. Uh, what was that? Sylvia? Sylvia and me do not get along. She keeps taking my headphones. Maybe I want to grab them. You alright, Sylvia? Hmm. <laughs> nice headphones. But please ask me next time you want to borrow them, yeah? <laughs> it all seems very light-hearted, but maybe the headphones do move and they're never found where they're left. Oh, I stink! Yes, of course. I need a proper bath. Well, I've got the proper towel now, so... So, we're already starting this game with some pretty heavy and dark themes. I think it's only going to get worse from here on in, quite honestly. Uh, so again, do I just use the towel here? It seems so. Drifting away again, to this imagined future, I guess. What did she call me? A prodigal daughter? Did the prodigal daughter come back to cry for forgiveness? Well, once I'm gone, I'm never coming back. Ever. You're taking Bethany with you, it looks like. I can't wait, coming through. <laughs> right. You must be the scumbag. <laughs> They're both doing my head in. But I know what I need. Junkie brush? Junkie brush. Junkie brush. This music is the only thing louder than the screaming inside my head. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Oh, I don't want to wake Bethany up. Oh, your headphones, of course. Where's my headphones? There they are. Sorry, Sylvia. Oh, we need those. Uh, so, again. Oh, I'm keeping the towel. Interesting, okay. Yeah, use the headphones with the stereo. Great. The batteries on the headphones are dead. Oh, it just gets better and better. I think there should be some spares in the kitchen. Right. In the drawer, by any chance? That's the first place I'm going to look. Maybe I should go back to the living room, check on Mum, see how she's doing. Might be able to talk to him as well. I don't know. We'll get to that, I'm sure. Yeah. Batteries! The right size and everything, I guess. Yep, yeah, okay. So, this is probably where we combine. So, C. Use headphones on batteries. Voila. Voila, okay. Now let's go listen to... Junkie bro. All right, gorgeous. All right. You smell like a brewery. Nah, I only had a couple of pints down to the dog. But, I bought a little bottle of red on the way back. Do you want some? No thanks. Well, it's more for me then. Don't mix your drinks. Who are you up to? Just getting some batteries, yeah, I'm just, yep. Yeah, just want to fuck off. Just getting some batteries. Batteries? Batteries, yeah. Nah, well, it all makes sense now. What? What does? These, these uh, strange uh, vibrations <laughs> every night come from your room. These walls are thin, you know. They're for my headphones. No need to lie. It's very uh, normal. You know, when a girl like you gets to a certain age. But if you need any help, you oh know. Boy. <laughs> He's a scumbag, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Maybe a bit too aggressive. I'm kind of surprised he let her pass. I thought it was going to get even darker than that. 
Anyway, oh, he's still there. Let's just get back in there, shall we? Maybe lock the door. Is that a thing? Still proud to be British, eh? <laughs> Wasn't really concerned with the Union Jack, more the, the lock, but never mind. Anyway, yeah, headphones with batteries, should be able to use them now, so... Junkie brush. Unexpected track? That house looked very familiar, though. What a dream. Is that what it was? Or is that like a premonition or something? That really looked familiar, like I've seen it in one of the previous games. Or both of them? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, right. Still got the headphones, still got the towel. I guess we probably don't try again. Let's just go out and explore and see what happens. Maybe something's changed. Maybe I need to look after Bethany again. Where's that coming from? This... It could be in here, it could be in the living room. I guess it's in the living room. Or oh, the kitchen, potentially. Yeah, it probably is the kitchen, actually. But let's just make sure. The text was on the sort of left side of the screen, so yeah. I get it. Hmm. Yeah, better go in there and make sure she doesn't get another black eye. You're nothing but a stupid bitch! That's what you are! Don't call me that! Shut your damn god woman! Do you know what the problem is? You! Hello? Nagging! Always! Bethany's nagging. crying again. Oh, jeez. So shut your stinking mouth, will you? Grab one of Jones those knives, would you? For sake, aren't you gonna do I'm something? Then what did I just say? Right. You let's see. Fucking devil Looks something. like I can't actually interact with any of this. So let's I just go deal with Bethany. Wrong. Uh, okay. Somewhat strange perspective. Blood on the wall. What's going on here? Locked. What the hell? Mother sleeps in there with that man and my baby sister. Right. Okay, so we need to find the key or something. Oh, yes. My room's just gone. The bathroom? <laughs> the chain room, sorry. What? What? I'm so glad you're here, babes. I've got this splitting headache. And Beth screaming her head off again. Oh, I know. Please tend to her for me. Would you? You're too old for babies. It's those cigarettes you smoke that give you headaches. I just... I just can't find her. I will. But I just can't find her. Or at least her. I can't find the key to get to her. She's in there. In there? Just go in. It's as simple as that, is it? What the hell? Okay, yeah. So, how do I do this? It's too far to jump over. So, do we need to create a bridge or something? It looks like I might be able to climb the rigging, but I can't interact with it. So, let's see what we can interact with. A couple of levers, buttons and stuff. Perhaps pulling this lever will extend the bridge so I can get to Bethany. Maybe. There's two of them. What does this button do? Perhaps pressing this button will extend the bridge so I can get to Bethany. Uh... That didn't look good. Maybe... 
Pulling yeah, his he's the leader. So <sighs> okay, maybe I don't want to press anything anymore. What have you done? Everything wrong. It's the wrong lever, Lorelei. Ah. It's too far to jump over. <sighs> okay. Tell me what you know. Oh, okay, you don't. It's, it's this one then. Bethany! Ah. Oh, was that her reaching the bottom? No. I don't think that was avoidable though. And she's gone, okay. Where has she gone? Zack? Morning, Lorelei. Do you know what time it is? It's like... six in the morning. Yeah. I... stayed up. I got something for you. Oh, you, you really shouldn't have. Zack, you really shouldn't have. It's no problem. I just thought... it's your first day and your first job. And my phone says it will rain today. So, here, take this. The umbrella? Right. An umbrella? Yeah. For the rain? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, I love it, thanks. I love it. Thanks. I don't think I've ever loved an umbrella. brings you luck. That's very sweet of you, Zach. They're useful, but I mean, yeah. You really stayed up all night just to give me an umbrella? Ah! You really stayed up all night just to give me an umbrella? Nah, you know me. I do stuff at night all the time. Oh yeah? Like what? All sorts of stuff. Programming mostly. Huh. And other boring things like that. <laughs> and I had like three episodes of Game of Thrones to catch up on. So I watched that. Right. When do you sleep? I'll go to bed in about... Two minutes? <laughs> Lucky you. Right. I'm off. I don't want to be late. See you later, Zack. Okay, yeah. Onwards and uh, downwards, I Lorelei. guess. Lorelai? Yeah? Do you... Um... You know... It's... Uh, forget it. It's nothing. Really? Just ask her out, you fool. Have a great day, yeah? Ch cheerio. Who the fuck says cheerio? Well, I guess he does. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so... Okay, forget the baby, forget Bethany. It looks like we're going to work now. Uh, this way? Yep, okay. What? I I, I kind of hope that I'm still listening to uh, the music. Is it Lensveld 794? What? what the hell? Where do you work, Lorelei? <laughs> this isn't the brick factory, is it? Oh, jeez. Interesting. Don't hurt her. Don't hurt her. She's not given me any choice. She's holding some fucking secret and I want to know it. What? She's like a year old. You think you're better than me? Do you think I'll hesitate to teach you a oh, fucking lesson? Oh, don't lesson? shake the baby. Oh. Well. Ah. Dream. Yes. It was just a dream. You hope. Yeah, I mean, he's a scumbag, but he's not that much of a cunt, right? Okay. Maybe I'm being too tough on Mum. Mm, I don't know. I'll try to talk to her one more time. Yeah, okay, good idea. Let's just have a little look around and see what's changed. So, living room or kitchen? Let's try the living room. Uh, well, okay, let's try the kitchen. 
Or possibly my mother's room. Or maybe she's having a bath. Let's just walk around until we find her. Not here. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it, let's just check on Bethany as well, you know. Probably safely tucked away in the crib. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Well, there's the bathroom. Ah. Oh. How's it going? Mum, you okay? I want to be alone. Do you mind? Hmm. Did something happen? No, nor would I. It's nothing. I just need a minute. Are you crying? No. My eye is still a bit sore. From the fall. Mm. I told you, didn't I? Yeah. The carpet has got a wicked punch. Actually, no. I'll tell you the truth. Do you want to hear it? I do. Yeah. Yes. I hate this life. I hate waking up to the sound of Beth crying. I hate John drinking all the time. He's drunk all the money we've had left till the end of the month. Did you know? We're broke. I hate this stinking old flat. I hate this bloody rain. Just raining all the time. Singling for you. Sorry. We can't even take Beth out, so we stay at home and she's bored and she's being a fucking nightmare. And <laughs> I hate your nagging. That disappointed face you make every time I feel shit. Yes, Lorelei. I even hate you. Say nothing and walk away. Well, let's see if we can reconcile this a little bit. I don't know how she's going to do it, but... Mom, I just want to be alone for five fucking minutes. Is that too much to ask? Okay. Uh, I kind of want to just keep poking the bear, so to speak. <laughs> but I don't think I can, and I don't think I should. Maybe I should go and grab Bethany, and just leave. Whether by plane or train, we should probably get out of here. This is all so fucked up. Let's face it, I am never getting away from here. Oh, I don't know about that. There's a few more chapters to go. Dad always knew what to do. He'd have said, imagine there's a secret door right here in your room. the other side. Oh. Huh. So this game employs like some sort of added like sort of CGI elements let's say. Some 3D elements it seems. I don't think it's purely just 2D drawings anymore. Right. Yeah. Okay. That was a really cool effect if that was all drawn in frame by frame. But I don't think so. 
Is that little me? I don't want to go yet. I don't blame you. It's probably the most beautiful place in the world. Right here. Give me one of your riddles, Dad. A riddle, eh? All right. Listen up. My mirror image is never that far. I have five different points, like a star. While I have no mouth that I can employ, I do make a song and filled with joy. What am I? Alright, my mirror image never that far. Five different points like a star. No mouth that I can employ. Filled with joy. Sky, hand, water, tree or bird. Not the sky. Probably not a tree or a bird. I guess a hand. Too easy, Dad. Yeah. The answer is... Hand! You caught it! I did. Took you me a while though. You're a young lady, aren't you? Taught you well. I hate it when my memories quiz me. You're gonna get well, Dad. I know it. Oh, a lie. I saw it on TV. People beat cancer all the time. Well, Dr. Myers is a great oncologist, they say. So who knows? It's gonna be a hell of a ride, though. For Mum. And for you as well. Mm-hmm. Don't I know it. But you're big enough to deal with it. I know you are. How can you deal with your dad dying from cancer when you're just 12 years old? Oh, bloody hell. Brenda! For fuck's sake! Come out and apologize to me right now! Brenda! I fear she might not be able to come to the door. Honestly. <sighs> Let's go and take a look, shall we? Yeah. Maybe I could say something. Or. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? You sorry old mother went and locked the door. Didn't I tell you both not to do that? Leave her alone. I'm a bloody husband. Come out and talk to your husband. Miranda! Nothing. Oh! Not even getting shouting from the other yeah, side of the door. Both go to hell. Maybe she already has. You will have a good chat about this when you come out, you stupid cow. Mom? Mom? Get the battering ram. You okay in there? I don't think so. Mom! It's not funny. Please, say something. I'm... I'm really getting worried now. Something's wrong. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Yeah. I need to get this door opened. Okay. But how? Well, you got a couple Let's of shoulders. It from the inside. Maybe Zach will know what to do. Right. Yeah, maybe he will, I suppose. Uh, he was just like next door, down the hall, wasn't he? So, yeah, let's see if we can get out and ask for some help. Maybe there's a way I can... I don't know. Climb out one of the windows. <laughs> Go around the outside. That might be it, actually. That might be how we do it. Was there a window in there? I can't remember. Uh, right. Something's 
Zack. My mom. I think something happened to her. What? Why? She was pretty upset tonight. We had a fight. Then I nodded off in my room, and that idiot John woke me up, banging on the door like a maniac. Mom locked herself in the bathroom, and I feel something's wrong. Like she's hurt or something. Please, Zack. I don't know what to do. Maybe... she just wants to be alone. No, I know her. She would just yell at me to go away. But she's saying nothing at all. That's not like her. Right. What if she fainted? We need to call an ambulance. Probably a good bet. An ambulance? Let me tell you something about my family, Zack. <laughs> we can't call an... Hmm. Yeah, tell him. Let me tell you something about my family. We are scum. The flat is in such a state. If the ambulance comes, they'll see all that shit. Do you understand? They'll put my little sister in a foster home. And I'll never see her again. Shit. My mom is crazy. My stepdad is a stinking drunk who keeps perving on me. I heard he sells weed to kids at school. Sounds like an episode of Shameless. Yeah, I know. But you're not like them. Look. We're wasting time. Please, help me get the bathroom open so we can see if she's alright. Okay. Alright, so what have you got? What, what trick have you got up your sleeve? We think we're gonna pick the or... lock. Okay. We just need a screwdriver and some wire. Screwdriver and some wire. Alright. Sounds good. Have you ever done it before? Sure. Lots of times. In Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the exact sure same thing. Gonna wake up. No. Hm. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Looks like he's on the case. Okay. Uh, well, I don't remember seeing any screwdriver or any wire. Just want to sort of take a good look around all the rooms, just to see what kind of prompts come up. Unless, of course, he brought the wire and the screwdriver. Did Did you That's do that? That's the bathroom. Cool. Now I need a screwdriver and some wire. Right. Like a paperclip or something. Okay. Wait. You don't have it. Um, no. I don't believe I do. Well, that's just great. Lorelai, you're in I an adventure game. I thought you were the lockpicking expert. Get used to it. An adept at most. <laughs> but I can do it. I just figured you'd have a screwdriver at home. Most people do. Does it look like we do a lot of DIY around here? But wait. Dad had this cool Swiss Army knife. Oh yeah? I'm where's... pretty sure it had a screwdriver in it. And where's Can that? Can you find it? I think Mom put it away with the rest of his stuff. Hide in my room and wait for me. I'll go and have a look. Your room? Okay. Get over it, Zach. Sure. Alright. A screwdriver and a wire. Yeah. Well... Shouldn't be too hard to find. Shouldn't be, but, you know, I'm at the helm, so we'll see about that, won't we? <laughs> uh, well... Let's just go in the mother's room. So there's literally nothing to interact with here whatsoever, so, okay, we can sort of write that off. The kitchen, we might find something. We might find a paperclip, we might find the Swiss Army knife, who knows? Or not. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the clock now? Does the clock have some sort of wire on it that I can take out? I don't think so, right? No, never mind. Okay, well let's just go back in my room. Maybe there's something hiding in there. Like a Swiss Army knife or something like that. 
Uh, uh, can I use Zack? Let's see if we can use Zack. I'm sorry it's taking so long, Zack. Nah, don't be silly. I was just admiring your drawings. They're good. Da. That old stuff? Please. He's so sweet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to try the bathroom, but of course that's the problem. Can't go in there. Uh, oh, here we go. Dad's stuff. Uh, examine the news, I Everything guess. Everything that's left of Dad fits in that one dusty box. I can't reach. I need to get up on something. What about the chair? Yeah. What do we got then? We got that Swiss Army knife. We got the uh, we got the screwdriver in there. It's locked. Of course. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to need another wire and another screwdriver to get to the original screwdriver. That guy's awake, right? Oh no, just really looked like he was. Uh, okay, you know what? Let me just try something. I just want to see if I can maybe leave. I can. Okay, so the things that I'm after could potentially just be outside somewhere. Uh, how far do we want to go, though? Okay, yeah, there could be something here. Washing machine? Let's have a look. What's in there? Maybe I can get a better view if I'm just sort of standing to the side of it. Just some clothes, I guess. Well, let's see. Use it. Turn it off. Okay. Are we going to open it or turn it back on? I can open it now. Go on, then. What we got? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> These are mother's clothes. I'll take her favourite cardigan. She always forgets to empty her pockets. Ah. Got any paper clips in there? You could take, like, the wire out of a bra or something, I was thinking. Uh, clothes peg? Use it. Okay. So what we got now? Headphones cut. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. That's all we're going to find around here. I don't think there's any going down the hall or going up and down stairs, right? And we're not going to go into Zach's room, not while he's in mine, so... Okay, well, let's see what we can do with the stuff that we got. Since I couldn't find any paper clips, maybe the wire coil from the peg will do. Bingo. There you go. Okay, so did I just take it out? Okay, so we've got the wire coil. Do we need to use it again to, you know, I straighten it out? I should just give it to Zach when I've got everything. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be his job, not mine. Um, still need to get in here, though. It's locked. Hmm. It's Mum's card again. I wonder what's in the pockets. Well, let's take a look. Looks like we're going to have to do it manually. Mother, let's search your pockets the way you've always taught me not to. What have we here? What have we here? A hairband. Okay. A soaked Tesco's receipt. <laughs> partially dissolved cigarette. Okay. Another cigarette. Yuck. Mum's keys. All right. Score. The keys to the box, do you think? Let's see. Mum's keys, Dad's box. All right. The Swiss Army knife. Nice. Is that a CD and a watch? Cool. <laughs> Okay. So we got the screwdriver and we got the paper clip, or the, the wire coil rather. Yeah, that's it. I think we've got everything. So do we combine the two before we give it to him or? Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm just sort of confusing myself with the controls. Yeah. Zach, I think I've got everything I need. Or oh, you need. Zach, I got the screwdriver and the wire. Yeah? Well. Sort of. Let me see. Yeah. This should do. Okay, you're up. And? I think we do it like... It's not quite like Skyrim. This. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, okay, so we, we actually do need to do it. 
Left stick, keyboard arrows to rotate, and the use button to move the screwdriver. Did I just snap it? Shit! Fuck. Dude. Dude. It broke. Game well, over. Thanks, Zack. I've searched the place up and down for all this stuff, and it's done fuck all. What? No, no. You know I would have done anything for you. Is that genuinely like a game over? There's... There's something else. What? Plan B. But first... Lorelei, are you absolutely certain that your mother is in there and that she's in trouble? I'd say so. Yeah. It's worth a doorframe being destroyed. Then stand back. Don't do this, Zack. John is going to kill us. It'll be fine. I promise you. <laughs> Easy as that. Could I have done it with the lockpick? I was just experimenting to see how far I could push it, but obviously too far. Fuck. I guess she's not doing chin-ups. So this is what you've been up to, Miranda. What? Offing yourself, eh? <laughs> well, that's fine with moi. I was sick of death of you anyway. What a fucking bastard. You just look at that bitch, ain't you? Hey, here's one for the family album. Where's the camera? I want to capture this beautiful moment. Enough. And who the fuck are you? Are you? <laughs> Leave them alone. Huh? All right. All right. Calm down, mate. You break my door, I'll break your fucking skull. Are you fucking serious right now? Get it, mate. This is just chapter one! Fuck. We're at the lowest of the lows. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Okay. So, do we go see the Queen of Maggots or something? Is that how all these games are tied together? Well, we're in Chapter 2 now. New girl. Wow. Alright, well, yeah, let's see the beginning of Chapter 2 at the very least. My first job. I can do this. Yeah? But I better hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. Is it really the time for this? Well, apparently it's really the time to catch the bus and get to work. 
there you have it. That was chapter one of Lorelei. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, to an extent at the very least. That was uh, very dark, sad, depressing, dour. But the way I figure it, there's only one way to go, and that's up. You can't really get lower than this, you know? Maybe there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel? I kind of hope so. Might take us a while to get to it, but if you want to see a little bit more to this game, let me know and I'll make this into a series, and I guess we'll be continuing with a part two later on. Until then, thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs> Does it say pierce lid and then wait for seven minutes or something? I can't wait, can we through? <laughs> right. You must be the scumbag. Voila. Voila, okay. Now let's go listen to... Right. <laughs> the bathroom? <laughs> the chain room, sorry. <sighs> okay. It's nothing. Really. Just ask her out, you fool. Oh, oh don't left. shake the baby. Oh. Raining. All the time. Singling for you. Sorry. In Skyrim. <laughs> I was thinking the exact sure same thing. <laughs> Easy as that.